can ovulate with light bleeding. Can you ovulate and at the same time experience bleeding? Why are you bleeding and yet you are in your ovulation days? Why is blood coming out during your time of ovulation? In this video, I'm going to answer this question that has been asked by one of our friends, one of our viewers, and she is saying, during ovulation, can a woman bleed at the same time? Om Sawijera Dimasa are the names of the channel here on TikTok and on YouTube and also on WhatsApp, Om Sawijera Dimasa. So, during ovulation specifically, Ovulation is the release of a mature egg and this normally happens on the 14th day if you have a regular 28 day cycle or if your cycle is shorter it could actually happen on the 7th day or even on the 8th day. So ovulation is calculated or ovulation is defined basing on the length of your menstrual cycle. Mu video no ndi kudamu echibuze chavu zidomu kwa nogu wafe Ya gambi enti omchala sobolo ku ovulate inga Atena bleeding inga This video is going to be in two languages I'm beginning with the English language And then I will summarize in Luganda So we've just said that ovulation is the release of a mature egg And normally this happens on the 14th day If you have a regular menstrual cycle Or on the 7th day or the 8th day If your cycle is short So when ovulation is taking place, there's going to be some changes that are going to actually take place. Of course, we know that there's a hormone known as the luteinizing hormone, LOH. I always talk about it, and I believe by now you know what uh, luteinizing hormone is. If you if your first if it's your first time on this channel, you can always go back to the videos I've uploaded about ovulation, about LOH hormone, and then of course you will get all the details but in a nutshell LOH hormone is actually a hormone that is produced or that is released by the anterior pituitary gland the anterior pituitary gland releases two hormones that is the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone after receiving messages from the hypothalamus so when ovulation is taking place what is going to happen of course we know that there's going to be a change in the discharge that is coming out of uh, a woman and then of course there's going to be an urge increased libido to be with your partner and then there's going to be a rise a small rise in your body temperature but our question is about bleeding can a woman ovulate and at the same time experience bleeding okay so there are some there are some key changes that take place during ovulation because we know that there's going to be a surge there's going to be a rise in some key hormones and during this last phase of the menstrual cycle which we know as the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle because we know that the first phase is what we call the follicular phase so the next two weeks before you see your periods that is what we call the luteal phase of your menstrual cycle there's going to be an increase in the hormones specifically there's going to be a rise in a hormone known as progesterone and estrogen so when you are ovulating we know that LOH hormone is going to rise but there's also going to be that high level of the hormone known as estrogen so high levels or high volumes of the hormone known as estrogen there's going to be an increase in the thickness of your endometrium there's going to be an increase in that the, the lining of your inside of your womb we call it the endometrium so during ovulation it's going to be very thick it's going to be very big and then it's going to be highly vascular it's going to be filled up with lots of blood vessels when you do the ultrasound scan your doctor the scan doctor the sonographer will make a report specifying that the endometrium is very very thick and it is very vascular this is due to actually a rise in estrogen hormonal levels and of course the luteinizing hormone during ovulation so that increased thickness the increased blood vessels around the inside of your womb during this time of ovulation in preparation for pregnancy in preparation for the fertilized egg if you do happen to get pregnant during ovulation when this thickness when the endometrium becomes very thick and it gets lined up with blood vessels there's an increased risk of these blood vessels maybe some of them rupturing and of course bringing about that little bleeding that little spotting which you might actually experience so during ovulation, there's going to be an increased thickness of that inside of your womb.
When it is very thick, when it swells and of course it actually becomes very vascular, it could actually be prone to rupture and when rupture happens of that inside, when the inside of your womb kind of like one of those small blood vessels which have increased in the amount or in their number, when they do actually burst, then there's going to be spotting. There's also going to be some changes in the consistency or the color of this blood which comes out during ovulation. It's normally, normally very light in such a way that if you are not very, very keen, you may actually fail to recognize it, but it is normally very light. And then there's going to be some changes also that will happen during ovulation. And these changes include some mild pelvic pain or some pain around your pelvis, around your waist. This pain is actually what we know, what we call uh, metoschemas pain. Metoschemas pain. Normally, that pain that happens during ovulation, more so on the side the egg is going to be released from. It may actually more be, it may be pronounced more serious on either the right side or your left side. So during ovulation, if you experience little bleeding during ovulation, if you experience some little spotting. We call this a mid-cycle bleeding or mid-cycle or ovulatory spotting. Actually, to answer this question, she said that can a woman ovulate with light bleeding? The answer is yes, a woman can ovulate with light bleeding. This is what we call ovulatory bleeding or mid-cycle bleeding. Many women experience this. You should not actually have any worries about this. My videos are for educational purposes only just to educate you to inform you but if you are a woman out there and you are watching this video and the bleeding is happening maybe during ovulation or it is happening after ovulation and this bleeding is very heavy remember I've just said that this type of bleeding which happens during ovulation, we call it ovulatory bleeding or spotting, it's normally very light and it actually lasts for only one day or two days. If you are experiencing heavy bleeding, you are experiencing heavy clots coming out, maybe during ovulation and then of course immediately after ovulation uh, and then maybe after your period you, you have that irregular uh, release of blood, that irregular period, irregular spotting taking place, irregular heavy bleeding, then you actually need to go to a hospital, go to a hospital near you and see your doctor. Your doctor will actually do some more evaluation on you. Your doctor will assess you, evaluate you and then of course do checkups on you to find the cause of uh, the heavy bleeding but if the bleeding is very light it's just spotting it's happening on the day of ovulation you are supposed to ovulate and then you uh, all of a sudden you experience some little pain and then of course even there's that little spotting it is very normal you don't need to worry about this many women experience this you are experiencing a, a pain around your waist area we call it pelvic pain and the pain is actually uh, more pronounced on one side or the left side or the right side it's very normal many women experience this during ovulation we call it mito pain so and then of course the other thing is that the cause of this bleeding which actually takes place during ovulation normally even if you go to hospital the cause may be uh, may not be identified when this happens, you've gone to hospital, they've done all the checkups, but there's nothing to explain this bleeding. Your doctor has told you that you are having what we call a dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Then it's high time you actually thought about ovulatory bleeding. Many women experience this, but if the bleeding is heavy, please go to hospital. Your doctor will know what to do. So let me answer all your questions in case you have any questions ask me all your questions in the comments i will answer you can also go to the comments of this video comment section down there and then ask your questions you can also join me on whatsapp and then we shall have a more detailed talk more detailed consultation answering all your questions and let me translate for my luganda viewers video number then the chibuzo can a woman ovulate with light bleeding? Abuza na gamanti omchala wabali mo chisele cha ovulation. Asogolo kubanga ate a bleeding. Omchala wabanga atusize chisele. Echeji okubanga divayo. Lisisinkane kwa sezo musajja. 
uh, pregnancy happening oba omushala afuna olubuto ate wabanga ali mu ovulation ate asobola ku bleeding ne ngamba anti yes kitufu nyo omushala wabanga ali mu ovulation wagena kubera ho hormones ezigenda ku rising ezigenda ku linya hormones so kanya no jetuita ya luteinizing hormone ne yate waliwo ne hormone jetuita estrogen eyamba ko ekisenge kyo ekyana bana muri munda mwetuita endometrium okubera red so emiswaji ne